For example, let's say you want to get your team not to use Facebook anymore to connect with each other at work and instead use uh, a business tool. Well, you can redesign, everyone can redesign their environment by taking Facebook off their work machine, so that's very hard to do, and making the new communication tool really, really easy to do. So that's the second approach is redesign the environment so the good data gets really easy to do. So the secret here, if I'm understanding the model, there's actually three components to it. One is keeping my motivation up, which I do by making it really easy to do. Easy to do the new thing and hard to do the old thing. The second thing is making sure I have a prompt um, so that there's an instant reminder that it's hard to forget. And I think there's a third thing you said along the way, which is making sure I've broken it down quickly to that next step so that it's a small thing. Yeah, yeah, let me walk through the the three components, Wanda. So there's motivation, ability, and prompt. In terms of motivation, what you do is you circumvent it. Uh, it, If something's hard to do, you need high levels of motivation. And it is hard to keep our motivation level high. That's just the way we're, that's the human nature. So instead of trying to keep your motivation high, you then go to the ability factor and say, how do I make this really, really easy so it doesn't require motivation or willpower? So you kind of, um, in, in, in my book, Tiny Habits, I talk about it as you, uh, you, you, you outwit the motivation monkey. Instead of dealing with the motivation monkey, you circumvent the motivation monkey and you make it so easy to do it. It's like, guess what? I don't really need much motivation to do this. I've made it really easy. So your ability is high. And then at that point, the only thing you need is a prompt or a reminder. Okay. Okay. Um, and, and, and those are how the components work as you're designing to make sure something happens. 